<laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Come on in. Make yourselves at home. Yay, Shabbat Shalom. Ah. Oh. It is so wonderful to have everybody here getting ready for Shabbat, for celebrating all of our volunteers, celebrating with Chatan Vakala plus 25 years, Lori and Matthew, being able to, yoo-hoo! <laughs> um, and uh, you, some people have asked, you know, am I going to speak about um, our trip that we just got back from on Wednesday night? Uh, am I speaking about that tonight? No, we're going to enjoy our volunteer time. Um, I promise, though, it will be in the High Holidays. So there you go. You have to come for the High Holidays if there's a, no other reason. Uh, you were already planning on it, I know. <laughs> but um, it, it is really cool to be looking at right there, the Alt New Synagogue, which is in the blue. Uh, we were there. I've got pictures to prove it. And I found the stairs to the Golem. Um, they, they, it's in the back. And you can't get up to it. Nobody wanted to give me a leg up because they were afraid. Uh, yeah, that's true. Steve was willing to. Steve Friedman was totally willing to give me a leg up. Um, <laughs> But what's really exciting about the goal, about the stairways up there is I have now learned that they actually sleep up in that attic at Sukkot. So I'm going back at Sukkot. You all can deal with Sukkot here. So there you go. Uh, no, we'll all go together. It'll be fun. We'll go find the golem together. No. But uh, it was an amazing, amazing trip. I've got, oh, there's so many things I want to share with you all. Um, but we will. But not tonight. There we go. Tonight. We're going to focus on Shabbat. What? Oh. <laughs> so um, Cantor is with us, but he doesn't have a voice. <laughs> I know, but he's got a guitar. <laughs> so it's good. So, he, so he's going to go ahead and he's going to play. He's going to get us on the right key to start with. And we're going to open up with a, a little Kiva Moed. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, la, 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 yeah, la, 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 yeah, la, 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 yeah, la, la, yeah, la, la, yeah, la, 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 evening it is. Shabbat is a beautiful time to join together. And we see Shabbat together in all throughout the entire world. I mean, last week to think that we were in, uh, we were in Krakow enjoying Shabbat at a JCC where on their, on their gate it said, you know, the gate was wide open. And on the gate it said, come in and say hi. It was so amazing. And these people coming together, all speaking Polish, and the rabbi and I led services together. It's actually a student rabbi, Mati, 
Uh, we led services together. He translated for me. It was great, but it was awesome because we actually got them rolling. You know, roll into dark, roll into light. Yeah, we got them rolling in, in Krakow. It was amazing. So, but it's so incredible because that Shabbat spirit is all around us. And so to hear tonight, it's in this space as well. So let us welcome with light, um, lighting all of our candles and our two candles are, and doing kiddush. I want to invite any child who wants to come up. Ryan, I don't know if you, you want to come up and join me. No, Lucas, you want to come up and join me? Yeah, any of the kids who want to come up and join? Hannah, come on up. I know, Gary, you're like a kid. Adam, nah, he already became bar mitzvah. Ryan, Lucas is going to come up and Hannah's going to come up. Come on up. There we go. No, Ryan, you're good? Okay, no problem. No? <laughs> All right, perfect. Come on in here, you two. All right, so Lucas, you're going to do candles and Hannah's going to do kiddish. Does that work? Okay, you got it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn to page two. Can I do this with you? Oh, well, why don't you do it? You want, me to, you want me to try to do it and then you'll guide my hand? Okay, so here, I got this. Now you guide my hand. Oh, can I try? And like, oh, can you try? Yep, that, should I try that one? Mm -hmm. To remember Shabbat, Zahor, okay? And Shamor, so we're going to guard Shabbat as well. What do you think? Is that good? Yep. Perfect. You know what? Now let's do this. Let's bring Shabbat to ourselves. Ready? Here we go. Shabbat to ourselves. Let's bring Shabbat to our families. Let's bring Shabbat to the whole world. And we'll join together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha-ho-ho-ho-lam Ashekidashanu b'mitzvotav v'tzimanu Lehadlik ner, lehadlik ner Shel Shabbat. All right, you guys, we have to send out love to the world. You ready to go blow kisses to the world? Here we go. Mwah. Yeah, awesome. All right, so Hannah, here you go. I'm going to give you hey, the grape I juice. Try? Not yet. No, no, we're going to let Hannah hold this one right now, okay? All right, perfect. So we're all going to turn to page five, though, okay? And we're going to join together, everyone together with this one, with our kiddush, okay? You ready, Lucas? You too? Here we go. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGafen. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav, V'ratzavanu, V'shabbat Kodsho, Be'ahava u'vratzon hinchilanu Zikaron lemaaseh v'reshit Ki hu yom t'chila l'mikra e'kodesh Zecher l'tziyat mitzrayim Ki vanu v'charta Biotanu kidashta mikol hamim v'shabat kachecha be'ahava uvratzon hinchaltanu. Now lift it up. Baruch atah Adonai mekadesh. Ha-Shabbat. Amen. L'chaim, have some grape juice, Hannah. There you go. Here you go. Whoop. Would you like to have a little on this side? Here you go. Want to drink some grape juice? Nope. Okay, no problem. All righty, perfect. Shabbat shalom. Oh, Shabbat shalom, you two. Thank you so very, very much. There you go. All right. Hannah brings you even closer to bat mitzvah. Yeah. Hine <laughs> matobu manayim. How truly wonderful it is for all of us to be together. We turn to page 10. Hine <laughs> ma 
truly good it is for us to be able to sit together, to be together, and to enjoy the beauty of this day. We turn to page 20, Lechado Di, and it's interesting because we tell the same stories as well amongst congregations throughout the world about the rabbis who in the people and spot going out into the hills there as the sun is starting to set dressed in their whites. You know, we're going to start wearing our whites, especially coming with our summer Shabbats in a couple of weeks and welcoming Shabbat there and saying, come in Shabbat, come in and join us. Bawi kala, bawi kala. It's the universal language of welcoming Shabbat. So let's join together, page 20. <laughs>
Satan. Wow. <laughs> How awesome. You know, not only are we welcoming the bride of Shabbat, but also the bride of tonight, 25 years ago. Yeah. Right here. Right here. Aww. <laughs> How awesome. What an amazing evening for us to be able to share with both of you. I'm going to make you read something, by the way. You didn't know this, but I'm going to make you read something. I know. I, I, hang on. You know him. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so we get to stand here with both of you and to share in this wonderful moment. Oh, Lori and Matthew, how awesome it is to be surrounded with your family. Uh-huh. And the raisins. <laughs> and your congregational family and the whole community that we get to celebrate with you 25 years of marriage. So Eloheinu velohe avoteinu vimoteinu, our God and God of our ancestors, bless Lori and Matthew on this, their 25th anniversary. May you reflect, both of you, with deep gratitude upon the years that have passed. Many and varied have been your experiences since that moment. May you recall the joys that have sweetened your lives. May you be thankful for the strength that allowed you to weather the storms that shook you to your very roots. God, you have been with this amazing couple. I can definitely attest to this amazing couple through all of their years together. So may you continue to bless them with your presence in the years to come. So this is, uh, I know, yeah. That's his way of saying amen, <laughs> just so you know. Okay, Kim here, here you go. So we're going to have the two of you read this together. Mm -hmm. I am, I am my, my beloved, beloved, and my, and my beloved, beloved is mine. God of all generations, we give thanks for the blessings that have graced our marriage, and we reflect upon the day of our union with thankfulness. May this joy be with us always, our way of life, loving and good, as we help each other bear burdens and share joys. Let these be years of health and contentment, of unclouded happiness in the circle of our family and loved ones of unbroken service, service of love and caring to those who are far and to those who are near. Amen. Amen. So we get to bestow upon you the blessings that you heard underneath the chuppah at the end of your service, right before you broke that glass. And what's the significance of that glass? Well, there's so many different meanings behind it. But that meaning of when you break that glass and nobody should be able to undo what the two of you did. You created that kiddushin underneath the chuppah. You created that moment of holiness and sanctity, just like you create this moment now. We're just here. We're participants. We're, we're here witnessing this and being able to share in that joy. But the two of you, you create that kiddushin, those holy and sanct sanctified moments. So now we get to bless you with the words that were shared underneath that chuppah, words of blessing. Yeah, everybody, or, nope. I'm gonna do, all right, perfect. Then I'm gonna do it, then I'm gonna do my, my way here. So I'm gonna go ahead, do, do, do. We're gonna make you get nice and close. There you go. Yevarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha May God bless you with good and keep you safe. Ya er Adonai panav elecha vichuneka. May God be with you and be kind to you. Isa Adonai panav panav elecha. Ve'yasem lecha shalom, shalom. May you always know that God is close, and may God give you the gift, the gift of peace. You may kiss the bride. Simmon told him, Buzz, I told him, Buzz, I told him, Simmon told him, Simmon told him, Buzz, I told him, Buzz, I told him, Simmon told him, Simmon told him, Buzz, I told him, Simmon
Now you get to go hug and kiss the product of this wonderful, of Megan and Jacob right there. <laughs> no, Megan's like, hi, Ryan, Ryan. Hi, kiddo. Yeah. <laughs> I got a hi. Perfect. We turn to page 26, Chatsi Kaddish. Yitkadavit Kadash Me Rabba. Amen. <laughs> Lehalamolo meha maya, yit barach, yit barach vish tabach, vit pa arvit roman vit nase, vit hadar vit ale vit alal, shame de kudisha brehu, le lamin kobe hatava shirata. Tush pechata v'nechemata Dami hiram b'yama V'imaru amen We rise now, page 28 for Baruch Hu. Ya la 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 at the top together. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars, creator of the tide of time and light. You guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Ata Adonai Hama'ariv Aravim. Together in the middle of page 32, everlasting love you offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night we will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people Israel. Baruch ata Adonai, oheva mo Yisrael.
as we turn to page 36 and we join together in chanting Ve'ahavta. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavcha ovechol nafshecha Uvechol meodecha Ve'ahayu hadavarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavecha Hayom alevavecha Vishinantam levanecha Vidibarta bam Beshitecha bevetecha Uvlaktecha vaderech Ushochbecha uvukumecha Uksartam leot aliadecha Vihayulatotafot bene necha Uchtavtam amizuzot betecha Uvisharecha Leman tizkaru Vasitem et komitzvotai Vitem kedoshim lelohechem Ani Adonai Elohechem Asher hotzeit chamechem Me'eretz mitzrayim Li'od lachem l'elohim Ani Adonai Elohechem Adonai Elohechem emet As we turn to page 39 at the top we read together Standing on the parted shores of history we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Micha Mocha, page 40. We continue on page 43 in the middle. Give us a place to rest, Adonai our God. Bring us into shelter in the soft, long evening shadows of your truth. For with you are true protection and safety, and in your presence are acceptance and gentle love. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace, over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch Ata Adonai, Haporei Sukkot Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Amo Yisrael, 
Ve'al Yerushalayim. We turn to page 44 as we join together with Yismuchu, a time of great joy. <laughs> Turn to page 46 and we rise together now for our Amida. Adonai sefatativtah uhufia kita hilatecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu velohei avoteinu vimoteinu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, velohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanora el helion gomel chasadim tovim v'konei ha'kol v'zocher chaste avot v'imahot u'mevi gula livnei v'neihem l'ma'an shemo v'ahava melech ozer u'moshia u'magen baruch ha'tzadonai Magin Abraham vezrat zara Ata gibor leolam Adonai Mechaye hakol ata rav lo hoshia Morid hatal Mechake hachayim vechesed Mechaye hakoberachamim rabim Zohomech noflim verofech ohonim 
We continue on page 55 at the top. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat. Page 57. Ritzei Adonai Eloheinu Ba'amcha Yisrael, Utefilatam Ba'ahavat Tekabel, Utehi L'Ratzon Tamid Avodat Yisrael Amecha, Baruch Ata Adonai, Shotcha L'Vadcha Ba'yir'a Na'avod, you are our God, whom alone we serve in reverence. As we turn to page 59 in the middle together, when we behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and stars that you set in place, what are we humans that you are mindful of us? We mortals that you take note of us. You made us little less than divine adorned us with glory and majesty. You gave us dominion over your handiwork, laying the world at our feet. How majestic is your name throughout the earth. Baruch ata Adonai, hato shimcha ulcha na'e lehodot. So we continue on page 60, Shalom Rav. <coughs>
We take moments now to offer blessings of Mishaberach, of healing, healing for all of those in our midst and all of those who we know, our family, our friends, and those also within our world who are in need of healing, especially in light of tragedies that are happening today, light, in light of tragedy that happens, unfortunately, each and every day. We ask God for complete healing of mind, of body, and of spirit. Page 253. Mishaberach avotenu vimotenu Avraham Yitzchak v'yakov, Sarah Rika Rachev Alea, Hu yivarech et ha'cholim. I invite you as I face in your direction to please share the names of those who are in need of healing. Cantor Reinwald, of course. family. May the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send all of them a complete renewal of body and spirit. And let us say, Amen. Take a few moments now for silent meditation. Oh, 
So what does it take for a congregation? It takes all of us, each and every person. Not one person alone, not two people, not three, but all of us together. That's what creates a congregation. That's what allows a congregation to work together, to weave together stories and ideas, have ideas that then become dreams, which dreams then become reality. And that's what we all do together. So often somebody will come up and say, I have an idea. Okay. And then we get to do it together. We get to achieve it together. Now, granted, the first time it may not always go as planned, but sometimes the best things in life are not always planned. Sometimes the best things that happen are those spontaneous moments that we do together. So it's not one person, it's not two people, it's not three. It is all of us together. And that's what we get to celebrate this evening. We get to celebrate each and every person in this room. Now, I tried to create a list of all of the possible volunteer opportunities that we have at Temple Beth Shalom or that have been done through Temple Beth Shalom. And I quickly realized I was going to miss something. So this is gonna be the audience participation part of this, okay? I want you to put your thinking caps on. And I want us to think about what are the ways that each and every person have given voluntarily of their time, their talents, their energy, their love of this place. Now, lots of sisterhood going on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sisterhood raising the roof. Uh-huh. There we go. <laughs> now, don't worry, we're not going to leave uh, our brotherhood out as well, because our brotherhood definitely, there you go, Mark, <laughs> raise the roof as well, with all that both of those wonderful groups do together. Let's see, from barbecues, to cooking, to reading to children, to supporting our youth groups, to creating wonderful cultural moments, including the amazing film that we saw here of who will write our history. Thank you so much for us having that right before we left because, wow, was that imp impactful. So sisterhood and brotherhood. Our board of directors. Where's our board of directors? Where are y'all? Uh-huh, there we go. Yeah, th yeah, the president. Well, now you can't hide yet. <laughs> His hand was down here. Give it up. Yeah. Our board of directors who make sure that everything is running smoothly and fiscally correct and making sure, thinking about new policies and ideas of how, how we make sure that governance of our congregation is working. How about the things that we create here? I heard earlier, Donna, you said, so your granddaughter was here. You participated with helping us with our mosaic, didn't you? How many of you worked on our beautiful mosaic? Yeah, all right, awesome. All right, so creating beauty also within the congregation. How many of you sing in the choir? Uh-huh, all right. 
Perfect. How many of you would like to sing in the choir? How many of you would like to never sing in the choir? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those of you who didn't put up your hands, we're taking names. <laughs> All right. How about mitzvah meals? How many of you cook for mitzvah meals? Awesome. How many of you clean for mitzvah meals? Thank you. <laughs> How many of you bake for mitzvah meals? Very cool. How many of you serve and go out into the community? Yay. Fantastic. Anybody here drive the green machine? I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's awesome. Hey, we've got the green machine. All right. What else have we got? We've got reading. We've got, how many have ever volunteered in the religious school or the preschool? Yes, Majachim as well, playing with the kids. Camp Shalom. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? Way back when. That's okay, it still counts. <laughs> uh, how many of you built carnival games? Awesome. Or manned the carni or womaned the carnival games. There you go. How, how about Hanukkah happening? Making that happen. Thank you. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the pun. Exactly. Um, here was one that I was thinking of. How many of you have ever led Torah study before? Yeah, you have voluntarily put yourselves in that position. Thank you very much. <laughs> And if you have never led Torah study before and you're too nervous about it, don't. They do not bite. I promise. It's an awesome experience. Just talk to Norm Rosen. He will get you signed up to lead Torah study. Okay? Start taking names, Norm. <laughs> how about, what, what else are we missing? What are other ways that, oh, how about, yes. Oh, awesome. How many of you have gone out to the women's correctional facility, definitely led with Steve Sherman, have gone out there? And the cantor has absolutely. What an incredible experience to go out there and be a part of that and bring Judaism and moments with them. It is awesome. If you've never gone out there before, please do see Steve Sherman. It's incredible. Um, I thought I was, oh, how about volunteering in the office? How many of you have volunteered in the office? Thank you so very much. We appreciate it. We're sorry for the paper cuts. <laughs> Norm. <gasps> yes, ushers and greeters at the high holidays and Shabbat. Fantastic. Yes. All right. What else have we done? Yes, Mark. Yeah, the social action, the social justice group, all of that. How about committees? All right, and work and work groups. All right, so so many different things. Definitely, how? Yes. Awesome. All right, there. Writing for the soul, drinking coffee while you're at it, and eating lunch and learning together. We can put it all together. Perfect. Um, meeting with our seventh grade students and. You know, we, we had Arnie and we had Lou and we had Norm coming together with our seventh grade students with Better Together this year and helping them understand the Holocaust together, the Shoah. Um, somebody else was raising a hand of another idea. Yes. Absolutely. Our wonderful, our, our naughty sisters. Did I get it right finally? Yes. And, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing it as well. It's awesome. So yeah, crocheting caps for, for cancer patients. Norm. Participating in services. Yes, thank you. So reading Torah. Okay, being called to read for Torah. How about Bubby and Zadies? Uh-huh, go out to Bubby and Zadies. Perfect. Mitch, how about washing cars? There you go, washing cars. What else? The budget committee, absolutely. Awesome, thank you very much. Keeping us fiscally balanced. I think we've got it. All right. There we go, that way. Yes. Sylvia. Yeah, high times, cultural events. Awesome, Bonnie. Ah, uh, yes, uh, definitely with Sukkot. And, oh, all of those good things that we do. Okay, what else? Other things that we have volunteered with. Yes. Mm -hmm. Living legacy. Continue, because, you know, we got to continue also supporting uh, what we you know, what we have rebuilt together to keep it all going. Kathy. 
I remember Pizza Moms, yes, definitely. How many remember Pizza Moms at the preschool? <laughs> Very cool, yes. Uh, reservations only, 80s party. How many of us remember that? Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the interfaith work that we do. From the iftar dinner to also having AME church here. Thank you so much, Sylvia. Who wants to go to church with me on a Sunday? Because we want to go hear that choir. Okay, we're going to do that. Because now that religious school's over, we want to go hear them. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Staffing and supporting the gift shop. Yay. Because that brings so much support to the congregation. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, Norm. Absolutely. Members of the Tefillah Band and everybody who's helped rebuild Temple Beth Shalom after the fire. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It's been busy around here. Rosalie, go for it. Yeah, help, volunteers who have stepped up to help Scott Friedman and helped um, all, all, all other people as well in our congregation in times of need, of, of being able to take people to doctor's appointments, take them grocery shopping, um, just going over and visiting with people. It, it, there, there's no training with that. All you have to do is be able to sit down and say, hi, how are you? And listen and be a friend. How awesome, Mitch. Yeah, Purim Carnival, Gail Lipson and that whole Purim crew. And also, you know, with the getting the spiel ready with the canter, playing with that. Wow. We do a lot. You do a lot. So thank you. I know that there is still so much more that we can be thinking of. But here's, here's our challenge, my friends. What are we going to do next? We're going to do more. Absolutely. We're going to continue to do not only what we've started, that's our foundation, but we're going to continue to build on it. No idea is too crazy. Okay? We, we, can, we can accomplish anything together. Yes. That one might be too crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Bingo, bingo, but it's true, but that we want to thank all of our bingo volunteers from the past. Absolutely. That was, I remember the lines and lines of tables and coming in on Thursdays during camp. I have to, and, and the people would come early and set up their trolls. And God forbid anything should move. I remember when we tried to switch because we got the screen and we tried to change the orientation and it was like, as if all you know what broke out. It was not a pretty sight. You do not mess with that. Uh, yeah, no. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. And what'd you do with the extra bun? Because the rule was every hot dog has to have a bun. Thank God for <laughs> a blessed memory, Maxine Horowitz. So with that, I want to offer all of you a blessing of gratitude for all that you do. Whoops. <laughs> for all that you do and all that you are yet to do. So I'm gonna ask you all to please rise. So God spoke to Moses saying, speak to the children of Israel. From every person who is moved by generosity of the heart, accept gifts for me. We celebrate this legacy of Yidvenu Libo, who, those moved by generosity and free will of the heart to contribute, to contribute the greatest gift of all to our congregation, the gift of your time. 
When the Mishkan was created, the people gave gold, they gave silver and copper, purple and crimson yarns, fine woods and items from near and far. Today, we celebrate how each of you volunteer your time, your resources to create the community that we so love, so cherish. We call you Nidivim, those who are generous. We know you as Nidivim, those who are kind. We look to you as Nidivim, those who volunteer. We respect you, Nidivim, those who are leaders among all of our people. And we offer thanks to you who sustain us, just as you give thanks to God, declaring, Bin dava ez lach, ode shimcha Adonai. With a generous gift, I make an offering to you, O God. I give thanks to your name. Baruch atah Adonai noten trumim nedivim. Blessed is God, giver of generous contributors of their time and selves to make our congregation the place we always hope to be, a community of life, learning, and connections where all people are welcome and can find a sacred home, one that is filled with friendship, love and respect, a place where each person can find the, the greatest gift of all, the gift of shalom. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Mazel tov and yashikoach to each and every one of you. From my heart to yours, from our heart to yours. And give yourselves a round of applause because thank you. Please be seated. It is my honor to call up the recipient of last year's Congregant of the Year, Gary Holloway, to come forward now and to present the Congregant of the Year for this year. Gary. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Jazz hands. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Oh. Um, so last year when I got called up here to get my Cody Award, because why not give it a name like that, the Congregant of the Year, I was surprised and honored. And it's my hope that as we discuss volunteers and we discuss this person, this particular person, it's this year's Congregant of the Year, that you'll see that this person is truly deserving of this award. Serving this person serves the Jewish community at home, at the synagogue, and throughout the region. This person is a volunteer par excellence. When you're around this person, this congregant, you're greeted with a big smile and a warm hug. The ways this congregant helps the temple are numerous. Some of, some of this will come out in this introduction and some of it you just already know heading and serving on many committees, TBS has been able to raise money, increase our membership, and foster congregational programs and activities, especially um, in the area of youth leadership. So, a little about this person. Um, this person was born in Brooklyn. This person moved to California. After high school, this person went to UC Davis. Then, where this person majored in psychology and then went on to UC Irvine and got a PhD and then taught for a while and then welcomed two babies into this, this person welcomed two babies into the, this person's life. So I'm gonna stop saying this person and just say she because it's getting cumbersome. But uh, <laughs> what do you do when you have two small children and a little time off from work well, I think everybody in this room knows the answer to that. You volunteer. You help out at the school. You lead a scout group or two. All your volunteer work, you're doing it with love and caring, and you earn the nickname Fantabulous. TBS contributions are amazing. Yes, 
There, the work she does in sisterhood, as is her passion, she served in various roles as the member, yeah, vice president of membership, of fundraising, as the executive vice president, and as the pres president of sisterhood. She's formed the amazing Stellar Junior Sisters program for daughters and granddaughters of sisterhood members. After the Temple Fire, she served as president and helped with the rebuilding, requiring time, effort, strong leadership. She lent support to all the temple and youth activities during that period, the Pur Purim carnivals, mitzvah days. Today, she serves on the Women of Reform Judaism's Pacific District Board as an area director, where, the, where, the, where she mentors several Southern California temple sisterhoods. So pretty much everybody knows so far. Uh, our, honor, our honoree is described as loving, organized, smart, very smart. She loves puzzles, reality TV, and singing Broadway show tunes. We'd like to add to her list of attributes that uh, some more, compassionate, selfless, loyal, determined, funny, and a person you would always want as your best friend. So it's an honor and personally a pleasure to present this year's Congregant of the Year, Mark's high school sweetheart, Jenny and Emily's loving mom, you know yet? Stacy Nagel, this year's Congregant of the Year. Life was a chore, so she set sail. 15, 22, came straight to the UK. All the British dudes were epic fail. Oh, you get flowers too. And you get to say for words, which is not me. <laughs> um, I am, I've had a rough year, as my closest, dearest know. Um, my mom was an incredible woman and was an incredible volunteer. Um, and I just have a feeling that she is watching right now. Um, it's funny, you spend a lot of your life wishing you weren't gonna be like somebody, and then you wind up exactly like them, and then you're really proud and happy that you are. So, um, I wanna thank Mark and Jenny and Emily. Uh, they never say no, they always say go for it. Um, I'm shaking, sorry. Okay. Um, I hope you don't mind, I'm gonna single out a group of women um, there are so many extraordinary volunteers in our congregation, men and women, but there's a group of women that I feel like all of us are holding this together because we're all represented here with this, um, and that is my sisters in sisterhood. Um, I just want to thank you guys for the amazing work you do here at Temple of Shalom. I feel like you are the heart and soul of TBS, and I also want to thank you for inspiring me so that I can volunteer and do what I do. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And thank everybody, thank you. Don't you dare. It's my pleasure to call forward the president of our congregation for just a couple more weeks, Jack Holmes. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, but until but until then. <laughs> that guy over there. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Uh, thank you to all of our volunteers. Uh, without you, all the wonderful things that make TBS so great would not get done. You are all so amazing, 
and you make Temple Life not only fun, but memorable for everybody. On behalf of our board of directors, I want you to know that you're truly appreciated, and thank you so much. To our newest congregant of the year, a tremendous honor for a tremendous lady. I'm so happy for you, Mazel Tov. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. To our anniversary kids, 25 years, huh? Huh. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, now to the actual announcements. Tomorrow, Torah study is going to be led by Ed Sirota, as we do Parasha, bear with me, Bek Ukotai. Is that close? Does anybody here know it? Okay, then I did it right. This Sunday from 9 o'clock to noon, Sisterhood is doing a recycling drive to benefit our religious and preschools. The address is posted on our website. On June 7th at 6 o'clock is our Arab Shavuot confirmation service. We will read the Ten Commandments and hear from our confirmands. It's always inspiring to hear the vision and values of our young people. That's our future, right? Sunday the 9th is a Shavuot morning of learning, food, and community. The Yizkor service is at 9.15, followed by the Brotherhood Speaker Series at 10. And this year we have Dr. Mark Filowitz, and his topic will be free speech on campus, college campuses, and other issues in universities today. Sounds like it's going to be very enlightening conversation. Uh, that's going to be followed by a light brunch at 11.30, sponsored by our Brotherhood. And at 12 o'clock, Rabbi Cohen will discuss our journey as Jews, how we got here, and where do we go next. Our Brotherhood is doing a book scholarship program for our college students to help offset the cost of their school books this year. The details are online, and the applications are due by July 1st. The winners will be announced on August 1st. On Wednesday, June 12th at 7 o'clock is our annual congregational meeting. We will present our new board nominees for election, hear staff reports, and vote on next year's proposed budget. Thank you to this year's Camp Shalom sponsors. Because of your kindness, scholarships are now available to the campers. Please see Jody Kaufman if you're interested in a scholarship. We, of course, have a lot more information on our website and in the bulletin you have with you, which I won't read to you. Um, anyway, do look at the bulletin for one thing because we need some support for Mitzvah Meals this week and what we need is listed there. And of course, we have our amazing Sarah. I assume the shop will be open. Of course, you're the one constant in everything, Sarah. God love you. Okay, and Shabbat Shalom, everybody. And once again, congratulations to the volunteers and to our Congress of the Year. Yeah. Okay. Shabbat Shalom. We conclude our service now with Alenu Lishabeach as we turn in our prayer books to page 282. Please rise. Alenu Lishabeach Ladon Hakok. La te grula liot se breshi, shelo asanu kego ye haratzot, vela samanu kemish pechot adama, shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vegor alenu kehol habonam, vaanachnu korim, umish tachavim umodim. Lifne melech, mache hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Vene emar, vehaya adonai, lemelech o kol haaretz. Bayom hahu, bayom hahu, ihe adonai hechad. Ushemo. We remain standing as our thoughts turn to those who are no longer with us, yet truly the memory of each of them is a blessing. On this Shabbat, we remember those who have recently departed, Sybil Stenzel and Martin Ruby. We also remember those whose yard sites we recall on this Shabbat and during this coming week. Anna Altman, Violet Benvenista, Irving Brown, Herb Cohen, Rose Cohen, Leo Cohen, Marion Deutsch, Clara DeVore, 
Nathan Dubin, Simon Elter, Sanford Falbaum, Harry Frank, Stanley Goss, Maurice Hassan, Harry Hempel, Alice E. Lerner, Sally Levenstein, Eugene Carl Levenstein, Judith Leventhal, Marty Littman, Jacob Miller, Albert Phillips, David Rice, Russell Roth, Seymour Rothman, Gerald Herman Rothstein, Alexander M. Rubinstein, Louise Schwartz, William Wagner, Mildred Winston, Sarah Wolf, and Erwin Zimmerman. If there's anyone here who's in the period of mourning of Shiva, Shloshim, or Shana, or is observing a yard site of a loved one whose name I have not called, I invite you as I face in your direction to please share their names with us. For all of them and for all of those who have given their lives al Kiddush Hashem for the sanctification of God's holy name, and for all those who have no one to say Kaddish for them, we join together page 294, Kaddish Yatom, our mourner's Kaddish. Yit Kadal Vit Kadash Shemei Rabba, Bialma Divra Chirte Vyamlich Malchute, Bechayechon of Yomechon of Chaye de Hol Beit Yisrael, Bagalau Vizman Kariv, Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shemei Rabam Vorach Lelam Lomel Maya, Yit Barach Vish Tabach Vit Paar Vit Roman Vit Nase, Yit Adar Vit Ale Vit Alal Shemei Kudusha Brichu, Lelam Minko Birchata Veshirata, Tush Bechata Venechamata, De Amiram Biama Vimru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Vechaim Alenu Viako Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. O say shalom bimromav, hu ya say shalom. Aleinu ve'ako Yisrael, vimru, Amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved among us. And let us say together, Amen. Before we conclude our service, of course, there's challah. Now it's not a birthday cake, but it's pretty darn close, because you know, it is sweet just like the wonderful woman whose birthday it is today, Sunny. Yay! So first, hang on, come on, we gotta do a little Yom Huledet Sameach, here we go. Yom Huledet Sameach, woo! Yom Huledet Sameach, woo! Yom Huledet Sameach. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Hamutzi Lechem Min Haaretz, Bete Avon, Bete Avon, Mazel Tov. There you go. And Mark, you know our blessings? Oh yeah. They come not only from our hands, but also from God on high. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I say shalom.
Shabbat Shalom, everyone. May it be as sweet as the dessert Oneg that we invite you to to come and join us in the social hall. And Mazel Tov, Stacy.